What's up guys? I am back in the shop today and guys I gotta tell you I got a package in the mail the other day This little guy Anybody care to guess what it is? It is from WTF Mike now if you know WTF Mike it could be anything I mean literally guys. I don't know what's in should I even open it? Anyways guys, I already kind of have an idea of what this is actually I know what it is, but I wanted you guys to guess. Um, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna paint this up. Now I'm not doing this today. This is gonna be in a future video, of course, because I still have to sandblast it and everything. It is something different that I have never, ever, ever done before. And I think it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna leave you though to your own conclusions on what this actually is. So with that, let's get to unboxing. All right, guys, let's get to opening this thing up. Oh, la, 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 la. All right, what is it? Mystery, mystery, mystery. Okay, guys, here is the package. Um, the suspense is killing you guys, I know. I know, anyways, this is, oh, you know what? I'm gonna cover up the so you can't see what's inside, but I just wanna show you something on the package. Loco. You guys see that? Loco. This paint is definitely Loco. Guys, <laughs> I don't know what they were going for when they decided to make this. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you. And how do you fish it? You fish it like that? <laughs> I don't know, guys. It's going to be fun to paint up. Thank you so much, Mike. That was awesome. Um, I'm excited to get this thing painted up. It's going to be cool, man. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Mike, go check out WTF Mike. He is an awesome guy, awesome supporter. Go check him out, follow his channel. But with that, guys, we're going to get started on this painting video today. So with that, let's get started. So guys, this is one of my early rattle traps. I didn't realize I had any of these left. They actually work really well. Um, they're, they're true and they actually do a pretty good job. So I've got two of these left that I found. So I'm going to paint one up today. I'm going to do an older pattern, but uh, I might do a twist on it. We'll just see what it, I'm just going to free flow it today, guys. So uh, with that, let's get started on this video. So we're gonna try something different um this is something I haven't tried in a long time I'm basically gonna take a rag I'm you guys will see I'm gonna fill in the scale pattern with black we're gonna see if this will work I don't know that it will but we're gonna try it so here we go okay so as you guys can see it didn't quite really turn out the way I wanted it to um, so I sprayed it back over with some white and I'm gonna go back over it with chartreuse um, We'll see how it turns out. I mean, nothing's a mess up until you're done. You know what I mean? I think this might be turning out all right with a little bit of black in between. I mean, it's not real definite, but it's definitely, you can tell, it separates those scales. I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of like it, to be honest. I, I think uh, just having that difference that contrast might make all the difference in the world, so. So it looks a little rough right now, but honestly, I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and do some more stuff to this and make it its own thing. So here we go. So here's the next color, here we go. next step is to lay some netting over it and uh, basically over the top of the red there we're gonna we're gonna put black so here we go so this is the next color here we go As you 
can see that is it. Um, I did the net on there. Now I'm going to go over the top with just a solid black. So that's it after I went over the top with black. Now we're going to do something a little different on this and uh, I'll show you what that is here in just a second. So here's the next color. It doesn't look it. It looks more maroon but it's actually purple. Um, you guys will see it's kind of a purple maroon. So here we go. All I'm going to do is around these gills. I'm going to just do a little bit of this purplish color around these gills. So here we go. So that's it. Um, as you can see, I put a little bit of purple in the cheeks there, and I did it on both sides. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a false eye on it, and uh, bait will be done. So that's the next color. I know it still looks like it's purple, but it's actually black in there. So let's go ahead and put that false eye on. As you can see here I added the purple right here on the cheeks as well as a blue turquoise right up the side as well as the dots you guys didn't get to see that the camera actually died but that's all I did I added it to both sides here and uh, that's it for the bait guys So guys, that bait turned out extremely sick, I think. I like it, I don't know about you guys. You tell me in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this bait. But with that being said, that's gonna do it for today's video. So guys, as always, make sure you hit that big red button. If you are not subscribed, if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that red button. That way you'll be notified, and the bell notification. That way you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. Oh, and guys, if you like this content, if you like what I'm putting out, make sure and give me a big thumbs up. That way I know I'm on the right track. And thank you to everyone. Thank you so much for following along with this channel. I can't say thank you enough to everybody who subscribed, to everybody who comments, leaves all the great comments. I really appreciate it. And guys, if you haven't yet, go check out my Patreon, guys. I am doing some rather unique stuff that you're not going to see right here you're going to have to go over there to see it but if you want to do that and you want to support me on that endeavor i really appreciate it guys uh, but with that being said that's going to do it for today's video so until the next adventure